Hey guys, it's Ignacio Dumber again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you could subscribe to the channel by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to basically do a video that one of my subscribers asked me for and it is to do a disable of plane detection and enable of plane detection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically add a toggle that is going to allow us to do that. Also, we're going to be hiding all the planes detected in the scene and then we're going to be able to re-enable them when we want to. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. So I already created a project and I showed you this one before because I've been adding a lot of examples to this project. And also a scene where we are going to be basically adding multiple objects in the scene and then we can select them and drag them around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify that scene and, and basically allow you to toggle detection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the placement with multiple dragging and dropping controller. And we're basically going to be using this. And I'm thinking either we can modify this or we can extend it or I can create a new one. Thinking about it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new one so that we, we basically don't affect the scene that we already work on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into scenes and then I already have a scene that, I, that I'm doing that on. So it's called the dragging and dropping multiple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say toggling. We can just say enable and disable plane detection. And then I'll just double click on it. So to open it up. So if we look at this scene, we have an AR session which has the AR session component and also the AR input manager. I also have an AR session origin, which I already walked you through how it works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be modifying this one a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and duplicate it so that we can create a we can create a new one. And then that way I don't affect the, the other scene like I said initially. So I'm just gonna rename it. And we can just say placement and we can say enable and disable. All right, and then I'll just rename it here, placement, disable, enable, and disable. Awesome, and all right. Then the next thing that I'm gonna do is, if you notice, I already have some components associated with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove that component. Let me go ahead and, so let's remove that one and add a new one, which is going to be the enable. There we go. And then we need to basically tell it which prefabs we're going to be using. So I'm going to go into my prefab and I'm going to select the large one. I also need to tell it, let me go ahead and move this panel to the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just associate everything that we're going to need. We're going to need a welcome panel. We're going to need the dismiss button. I got to find that. And let me go back. There we go. And that one is going to be this guy right here. Then the our camera, we're going to drag it and drop it. Then we're going to need basically all these different components, which are going to allow us to place different colors of prefabs. So just going to keep that example the same. One thing that I want to do is I want to basically either disable or, or enable the tracking. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and go into 2D. And we're gonna have a lot of buttons in here, but I think that's I think that's okay. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and resize this a little bit, and then we'll keep these ones down here. And then I'll just add a new one here where we're gonna be doing basically a toggle. So we can just say this one is gonna call toggle button. We can we can call it toggle plane button so that we know where we're toggling. And let me move. Then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to resize these ones a little bit. There we go. And then this one is going to be the control to to toggle the detection. We can make it we can make it bigger so that I I keep the layout clean. There we go. And then I'll just move these down. Then we can move them up. All right. I think that that's good. This can be resized just a tiny bit more so that it matches the other the others. All right, and then we can just put a placeholder here. This one is gonna be, it's gonna be enabled by default, so we can just set it to disable, disable plane detection. Awesome. 
and we can say okay so I think that looks good that's gonna be the default state then the next thing that I need to do is I'm gonna go into my placement enable and disable just I'm just gonna double click it and then we're gonna have to add a new button so I'm just gonna basically add this button right here and this one is gonna be the toggle button excellent and then I'm just gonna serialize this as well I'm also going to be binding this just like I'm doing on these other ones. So I'm going to I'm just gonna check to see if the toggle button is not null. Then we're basically gonna bind it. And I'm just gonna copy this right here because that's gonna make it easier. And then what I'll do here, I'll just say private void toggle plane detection. Awesome. And then what I'll do is I'll just call that method when when this listener gets executed. So I'll just say, you know, we're gonna call the toggle plane detection when we do the onclick event. Awesome. So the other thing that we're gonna need is I'm gonna need the AR plane manager, and I don't have that right now in this. I do have it in the component. So what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically add a private, and this is gonna be AR plane manager, AR plane manager. Awesome, and then what I'll do is I'll get it from the on the awake. Just say like get component, AR plane manager, and then basically we can now that we have it, we can now use it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say you know I I'm gonna just toggle it. So I'm gonna do a not on the enable, and then I'm also gonna need to look and see if we already have any planes. So for that we can do a for each, and then we can just say game object. And then we can say plane in AR plane manager. And what I'm gonna do is we can say trackables. Awesome. And this is gonna loop through and let's see what the error is. So can I convert? So okay, so we'll just do AR plane. I think that's fine. Because that's the components that we're looping through. And then I'll just say plane that game object, enable. We can just say set active and then this set active is basically going to be based on the state that we're on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say it's going to be active. So in the case where, so let's say that it is set to disable right now. So if it is set to disable, meaning that I think initially it's going to be enabled, but the text is going to be showing as disable. So by default, this is going to be set to true by default. And then we're going to say a not. So this is going to be false meaning that we're going to go through each plane and basically set it to false so that we don't see it. But as soon as we call this method again, it's going to do the reverse of that, which is false. So it's going to change it to true, which means that we're going to enable each one of these. The other thing that I want to do is I want to change the label of the toggle button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if we can say if AR plane manager enable, then what I'll do, let's actually make it simpler than that. Let's do this. Let's do text. Let's do get component component in children because that's where our text box is going to be located at. And then I'll just say text. And it looks like I hit the wrong key. Let me just undo. There we go. Text equal. And then we're going to basically set that text based on based on the state of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add parentheses in here and use a string interpolation. And then I'm going to say, okay, if this component is enabled, then the text is going to say basically disable. So let me, let's do it. Let's do it this way, because I think I'm trying to, I'm complicating things where they shouldn't be complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, if that is set to true, I'm going to set it to disable and plain detection. Otherwise, enable plain detection. There we go. So the way that this is going to work, this is going to go down here. And if the plane detection is currently set to true, we're going to set it to false, meaning that we're going to go through each one of the planes and then basically make them inactive so that we don't see them. And also we're going to say, okay, if this is false. We're going to now toggle it to enable. Otherwise, we're going to set it to disable. So I think that's everything that I need to do here and everything looks good. Let me just go back and check a couple of things. Make sure that we have, so the last thing that we need to do is basically associate the toggle plane button in the inspector and everything looks good. All right, 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Build Settings and I'm going to add the new scene just by clicking on Add Open Scenes. And that should be everything that you need to get going in order to build this scene. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about AR Foundation or anything that I just showed you, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.